Hello and welcome. My name is Heather Farmer and I work with Curriculum Services at Algonquin College. This short video will demonstrate how to add questions to a test from Word using the test question generator. Um, with the Blackboard generator, you're going to start off by putting your questions and writing it up in a Word document. So I've created a little quiz on coffee to get us started. So with this coffee quiz, you're going to be seeing four different types of questions. The first few are multiple choice, and then I move into some multiple answer. I have got true and false, as well as fill in the blank. And I'm going to talk through each of those questions, just so you know how they need to be set up. Firstly, the first line is always your question, and your answers or options are going to be listed right below it. There should be no space in between, and they should be indicated without any numbers or letters. The reason why I've done this is that if you choose to have Blackboard set up in order to, I guess, randomize the order of both the questions as well as the answers, by not indicating the numbers, you're not going to um, in interfere with this. Next, to indicate what the answer is, you'll be putting a star, and that star will then show this is the one that is a correct answer. For multiple answer, again, you'll put the question. It's nice to indicate select all which may apply so that it's clear that this is multiple answer, as well as you'll put a star beside both of the questions that are correct. For the true and false, you'll write out the question, and you simply indicate T for true or F for false. And then finally, for fill in the blank, you'll put your blank, but the options A, B, or C are the various ways that somebody may answer. And so, coffee is the second most traded commodity on Earth. I've written out the word second, the numeral and second, just two, and perhaps I could put number two. And this way, any which way somebody may answer it, this way Blackboard can grade it automatically for you. So the last thing we need to do is indicate for the service what type of question is each of these. So just before your grouping of questions, you'll want to put MC for multiple choice. So by putting that MC, it, it allows the computer to know that the questions following it are multiple choice. And so for here, we put MA for multiple answer. Af before the true and false, we put TF. And before our fill in the blank, it's BL. So again, we're leaving only one space. Our answers are right below. And we just put the two-letter indicator to tell the computer what type of question follows. So to go to our website, the address is lyceum.algonquincollege.com slash quiz generator. The information will be below in the notes. The website looks like this. So the information and the indicators that I let you know, all of that information is at the top under basic information. So if you didn't catch it while I went through, you can either rewind or you can read it here. So the first thing we're going to do is give it a name. So we'll call it the coffee quiz. And what we do now is we're going to take the information from our quiz. We're going to copy it all. and paste it into the website. So you see everything lines up nicely. Our indicators for the types of questions are above, and our answers are below our, each of our question types. So what we do next is we click the Generate Test Questions. So we click this button, and our test generation was successful, and we scroll to the bottom, and we can download either the test questions, or we can download a question pool. Each of these are going to be exported in a different format. If you have simply one test and you want to be able to include all of the questions for all of your students in one go, you would take the test questions. If you're downloading a pool, this will be something that you can drop into one of the question pool banks so that when you're creating a test, it draws a certain number of questions from the pool. For this example, we're going to download the test questions. So I'm going to click this and now we have this saved to my computer. So I want to show in folder, 
So I've got this. I'm going to drop that on my desktop. So now I've got my questions right here on my desktop. So in Blackboard, I can add this test now to my course. So we'll put it into the test and quiz folder. I'm going to click next on tests. And I'm going to create a new test. And we'll call it the coffee quiz. So to create the test using our question bank, we're going to click on upload questions. I'm going to browse on my desktop to find that quiz that I just saved. Click open. We'll give each question one point and then I'll click on Submit. And now we see that there's a total of 13 questions, all brought forward from our software that we just exported. So all of the questions have been moved over from the quiz that we made in, in Word by dropping them into the test generator. So the address again, it's lyceum.algonquincollege.com slash quiz generator. Again, the information will be found below. And that was my session on Blackboard Test Generator. Thank you very much and have a great day.